What kind of bird is awarded the most beautiful and harmonious chirping sound? Everyone has their preferences. However, many people, especially in Indonesia, are choosing white rumped shama because of their beautiful voice. These birds are often included in bird singing contests in Indonesia. In this video, we will invite you to watch the release of white rumped shama at Dihakim's aviary, as well as get to know more about prima donna birds among chirping lovers. It's the aviary! There have been two white rumped shamas released at Dihakim's aviary for your information. However, due to a slight misunderstanding, both of them are female. Therefore, Irfan and his team will now release a male white rumped shama to accompany the female pair. Here it is, the stone magpie, finally out at Dihakim's aviary. Oh, there's a female. The female is here. Please don't go with her yet, son. This is the female. She reacted, you know. Wow, they're already matched. Wow. It sounds, yes. They imitate the sound of kocher birds. Yes, kocher. The white rumped shama sound different for males and females, right? Yes, different. He's an again. Are they male to female or maybe male to male? Male and female. The sexes are clear, it's evident they vibrate. That means they're about to get married, right? Yes. Wow, guys, waiting for the play date. Suddenly they are going to have children. Usually, the white rumped shama mating ritual is similar to the Qkek Jingo bird, right? They like to chase. Yes, they were chasing each other, and their bodies were shaking. Well, the female is out. That's your lover is out. Of the two females present here, the only one approaching the male was. The food was stolen. Okay guys. okay guys, two white rumped shamas, two females and one male, were finally released. White rumped shama. This bird is also known as the shama thrush, because in the past they were classified into the thrush family Turdidae. However, now they have been included in the family Musicapidae. In Indonesia, people often call them by the name of forest kuchicha or stone magpie. The naming is because these birds do live in natural forests or secondary forests. You can also find them in bamboo forests and plantations. The white rumped shama has a wide variety of subspecies found in various countries and islands in South and Southeast Asia. From India to China and Southeast Asian countries such as Thailand, Myanmar, and Malaysia to Indonesia. In Indonesia, there are many types of white rumped shama including Nia's magpie, Medan stone magpie, Borneo stone magpie, Javanese stone magpie, Lampung stone magpie, and Lahat stone magpie. They all have slight differences from one another. For example, the white rumped shama typical of Borneo has a white crown on its head. Then what about the white rumped shama in the Dihakim's aviary? The female white rumped shama comes from Lempuyan, while the male bird comes from Medan. The color varies depending on the type. The color of these birds is dominated by black, 
The exception lies in the underside of their body, which is bright orange to dull. The most impressive physical feature of these birds is their long tail. The tail will stiffen when they sing or when they are startled. Male and female birds can be distinguished by their body size and sound. The male white-rumped shama is larger than the female. Male birds have a wide variety of songs, and their voices are louder than females. The white-rumped shama's staple diet is insects, worms, and fruit. They often go down to the ground when looking for food, scavenging for worms and small snails. However, white-rumped shama is often fed nuts and raw meat in some captive birds. The white-rumped shama is a territorial bird, especially during the breeding season. At that time, the male bird will chase the female. Their nests consist of materials such as roots, leaves, and small branches. The female bird builds the nest, while the male bird serves as a guard. After the female white-rumped shama lays three to five bluish-white eggs, the mothers will incubate their eggs for about two weeks. As stated earlier, the main attraction of white-rumped shamas is their chirping. The white-rumped shama's chirping is crystal clear, shrill, and full of variety. You can hear them chirping like a whistling sound to notes that sound like a flute. They are also able to imitate the sounds of other birds. Indeed, they have a voice that can give us a sense of calm. And do you know, listening to birdsong can even reduce stress levels. Irfan himself called the white rumped shama a bird that deserves to be ranked number one among songbirds. That's just his personal opinion. But his opinion is quite reasonable if we hear the white rumped shama chirping which does sound very beautiful. Like a melody that spoils our ears. Hopefully, this video can be useful for you. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. See you in the next episode.